Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. The following statement relating to the uncle joint are true except. So here, the ankle joint which is true except, that means which is false. So we have to find out uh, topics which is false relating to the ankle joint. Here are the options. Options are three groups of ligament provide mechanical stability the sural nerve lies medial to the achilles tendon at the point of insertion eversion of the foot occurs at the subtalar joint the flexure hallucis longus tendon is most posterior structure at the medial malleolus and the saphenous nerve crosses the ankle joint so these are the five options uh, relating to the ankle joint and we have to find out one of the option which is not true relating to the ankle joint so here in this picture first of all we can see this is the achilles tendon and we can see achilles tendon is inserted in this calcaneus and we can see this is the sural nerve the sural nerve it lies in the lateral aspect of this tendo achilles here we can see this is the lateral aspect and here this is the medial aspect so the sural nerve it lies lateral aspect to the achilles tendon then in this picture we can see these are the different group of the muscle uh, this is the medial malleolus and these bones this is the tibia and we can see behind the medial malleolus there are different group of the muscle first of all this is the this one this is the tibialis posterior then here the extensor hallucis longus then so this is the flexor hallucis longus and here the flexor digitorum or flexor hallucis longus so first of all this is the tibialis posterior then flexor hallucis longus then sorry this flexor digitorum longus second one is the digitorum then third one is the flexor hallucis longus so hallucis lies most posterior so first of all tibialis posterior tendon then flexor digitorum longus tendon then here flexor hallucis longus and the blood vessels and nerve they lies just behind the two tendon one is the posterior tibial and another one is the flexor digitorum longus so just behind the flexor digitorum longus there are the blood vessels and nerve and then flexor hallucis longus so the flexor hallucis longus it lies most posterior relating uh, to the structure passing behind the medial malleolus and here this point here we can see this is the flexor hallucis longus arising from the fibula and finally it inserted into the big toe or great toe of the finger and in this picture here we can see this is the saphenous nerve and this saphenous nerve it arising from the femoral nerve and it descends down along the medial border or medial surface of the leg and finally it crosses the ankle joint and reaches up to the Two. and in this picture we can see this joint this is the subtalar joint this is the calcaneus this is talus and navicular so calo calcaneo navicular talo calcaneo navicular this is the subtalar joint and this joint point there is the inversion here we can see this is eversion and here the inversion so inversion and eversion occurs at this point this is the subtalar joint so inversion and eversion it occurs in the subtalar joint so our final answer it is ready that the sural nerve lies medial to the achilles tendon it is not true because the sural nerve we saw in the picture that it, it lies lateral to the achilles tendon on the lateral side of the foot and three groups of the ligament provide mechanical stability it is true there are three groups of uh, ligament present in case of ankle joint then eversion of the foot occurs at the subtalar joint we saw that in the picture then the flexor hallucis longus tendon lies most posterior structure yes it is true behind the medial malleolus it is lies most posterior structure and we saw in that picture that this is the flexor hallucis longus which lies most posterior and then uh, first of all tibial is posterior then flexor digitorum longus then vessels and nerve then flexor hallucis longus and saphenous nerve crosses the ankle joint it is also true because the saphenous nerve arising from the femoral nerve it passes 
to the lateral aspect of the leg and uh, crosses the ankle joint and finally reaches in the foot and the digits. So our answer the sural nerve. So because the sural nerve it not lies medial to axillary tendon, it lies lateral to the axillary tendon. Thank you, Bob.